gentlemen, it's Larry Grayson. Well, you're right. Oh, dear, honestly, I'm absolutely worn out. I do, I feel just like a rag doll. <laughs> I do, do you mind if I sit down? My legs are all going. You know, the thing, oh, you, you know, I've had the most terrible week. Oh, I've had a dreadful week. You see, actually, I'm not sleeping too well, you know. I, no, I'm not. No. Well, I, I, you know, I'm already for it, and I go to bed, and when I get in bed, I, <laughs> I can't sort of get off. <laughs> And so the other day, and I won't take a tablet, you know. Never take a tablet or a powder. No, never have. I took a Bob Martins once and that finished me. Well, <laughs> don't buy a mistake, of course. Well, the other night, I was really tired out. I'd done too much, you know, I'd done a bit of washing. And I thought to myself, well, I'll go to bed early. Well, just before I went to bed, I went out to see if my bike was all right. <laughs> and, and the lady next door came out and I talked about her cat. And the dog, she's got a cat and a dog, and, and, they, and the bicycle, I mean, it's got all rusty, my bike. Well, I said, well, she doesn't tell him about it. So I went in, he said, I went to bed, and, and, and it must have been on my mind. It must have been on my mind, because I had the most terrible nightmare. The most terrible nightmare. I, I, you see, I dreamt I was on this island, and I was fishing, but I hadn't got a rod. And, <laughs> and then I was searching about, there was a soul to be seen. Not a soul. And I was searching round, and then I looked in the distance, and I saw this, this ship. And I shouted, ho <laughs> What else do you shout? <laughs> Ahoy, I shouted. And I kept waving and waving. Well, I must have waved too hard. <laughs> because I fell out of bed. <laughs> I thought, well, I must stop this. Otherwise, I should break something. <laughs> and then where should I be? Well... <laughs> So when I got up, I thought, I must go and see my doctor. Well, I've got a new doctor, and I've never seen him, you see. I thought, well, I'll go and see what he comes up with. Well, <laughs> I, I was very lucky. I went, I went, and there was no one in. Well, just a, a woman sitting there in a trouser suit, too tight for her. <laughs> Looks like she's been lagged for the winter. Well, I went. <laughs> she was sweating like a dray horse, and I'd all snuffed down her. Well, I went in. <laughs> And you see, he was amazed, you see, when I walked in, you see. And he said, um, yes, what can I do for you? Well, I said, you know, I keep going limp. <laughs> and that's sort of the start of it. I said, uh, he said, well, he said, uh, uh, let me examine you. He said, let's see how, thi let's see how things really stand. So, he, 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 <laughs> so he examined me, he gave me a good examination, a very good one. He, so he said, well, everything seems to be in working order. <laughs> I thought, my friends will be pleased. He said, <laughs> he said well, have you, what, what else have you had? I said, what else have I had? I said, I've been right through the card. I said, I've had everything. I've tried everything. And the illnesses I've had. I said, I've had every illness there is. And that, uh, those haven't had, I've been promised. <laughs> when I'm in that hospital, I said, they call me by my first name. I said, and also, they cook ginger pudding twice a week for me. <laughs> and I've only got to lift an eyebrow to bring a banana. I said, <laughs> I said, I used to have to have my leg up three times a day for an hour. <laughs> it was so good to me, I didn't even feel him putting it up. I can tell you. <laughs> it kindness itself at St. Editor's. Kindness itself. He said, you've pushed yourself too hard. He said, now, you must take things quietly. He said, what's the good of doing all this, wearing yourself out, if you've always going to end up on your back? He said, now, what's the good? <laughs> My advice to you, as he moved the flower vase, is my <laughs> advice to you is to take things steady. I said, you'll have to wait till after tomorrow night. I said, because tomorrow night I'm refereeing a wrestling match. It's with the Red Shadow and the Witch Doctor. It's a friendly. On my left and in the red corner, the African Witch Doctor. <laughs> On my right and in the blue corner, Yes. 
best part of the show. <laughs> Lovely. Little cock, little cock fight. <coughs> Size sevens. <laughs> Dirty hands. <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't let me do it. Get back. I saw you in Sanders of the River. You were very good. <laughs> Now, what I want, what I want. Oh, wait a minute. Eh, wait, stand back. Get, get back. Will you stop it? Control yourselves. We haven't started yet. Move. He seems like a nice boy, doesn't he? Now, I want a good, clean fight. I want no biting, no scratching, no groping, just a straight, That's it, what say. Now, may I have the bell? You've heard that became your narrative. No, wait a minute. <laughs> Please, no waltzing. No waltzing. wondering why I'm attired like this. Well, the fact is, tonight I'm going to help out the act <laughs> that they usually get me into, you know, but tonight I've given my services absolutely free. And I would like you to now meet, all the way from Texas, Alex Laredo. <laughs> Alex Laredo. Very good. He's not finished yet. What do you mean he's not finished? He's, not, he's got a wee piece of paper here. He's got what? A wee piece of paper. Oh, I said, that, 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 I'm trying to tell him. My head's going round. Now what? Look, will you hold a piece of paper? Just j Open your fingers. That's right, now hold yeah. it. Turn that way. Stop it. Wait a minute. Right. Now I'll tell you what's going to happen. You see yes. the man with the whip? You can't miss him, can you? Yes. <laughs> You see, at the end of the there's a great big thong. What? Which is razor sharp thong. A thong? A thong, yes. Right. And he's going to bring it down. Yes. You're going to hold your hands out very still. Yes. That's right. Yes. And he's going to split the piece of paper down the centre. When's he going to do this? Right now. I know he's not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Mr. Grayson, no, 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 no. you've got to help. Yeah. I've got a bigger one. You are? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> So he wants to hold it above your head and he's going to shoot it between your hands. I know he's not, you know. Oh, yes, no, now you never tell me anything about this. Oh, yes. Right. Yes, Dexter. Okay. What's I'll... he say? He says, I'll show it you first, Mr. You'll Gibson. do it? Yes, I'll show it. 
Yes, if you take the, the orange balloon like this yes. and hold it neatly in front of the tongue. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, can't bear guns. <laughs> feel so silly, you know, because, I mean, I could have done that myself. I'm, I'm very sorry. Yeah. I did help the elf out, didn't yes. I? Okay, that's right. lovely. That's right. right. No, no, no. Dexter what? wants you to do it differently. What do you mean, differently? I'll show you. If you just stand <laughs> like that, yes. give me the balloon, yes. you're going to put it between your legs! <laughs> Antiquities, it's Larry Grayson. Hello. Well, once again, it's by phone in, and I wonder who we should be speaking to tonight. It's all very exciting, isn't it? I wonder who we should... Oh. Hello, Larry's phone in. Hello. 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 My name is Mrs. Bumper. Oh. Well, what can I do for you, Mrs. Bumper? Well, I'd like some advice about my large chest. <laughs> I see. Yes. You see, one side is beginning to warp. <laughs> and, uh, the, do you want to know about the other side? Oh, I do. <laughs> well, the other side is turning a rather funny colour. <laughs> oh, I say, you are. You have a problem, haven't you, Mrs Bumper? Yes, uh, and you I see... mean, besides your name. Go on. <laughs> yes. Now, look, my husband is bound to notice it, you see, because it's the first thing he turns to at bedtime. <laughs> Do go on. <laughs> well, I'd just like to tell you the last time it happened, the man next door rubbed it all over with linseed oil <laughs> and, and pumice stone. With pumice stone? That's right. Yes, and what happened? Well, the knobs fell off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not surprised. <laughs> you see, he must have rubbed it anti-clockwise. <laughs> yes. Oh, I should think it does. <laughs> Especially if there's an R in the mum. <laughs> yes, it was March, I remember now. Yeah, well, there you are then. You see, you were very, it was very wrong. Well, I think I'll go and ring his bell. Yeah, I should. <laughs> <laughs> you ring his bell, dear, yes. Thank you. Bye-bye, Mrs Bumper. Bye-bye. Goodbye, dear. <laughs> Takes all sorts. <laughs> so maybe it will be your turn next week. So phone in if you can, then I'll be glad to answer your questions. Goodbye. <laughs> Hello. I'm looking for Mr. Runcorn. Oh, my introduce you to Mr. Pemberton. He's Queen's Counsel. I'm not surprised. Hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Grayson, now that you're here, you must be quick, you understand. Yeah, We've got a very important case. Just two minutes. Yes. Just sit yourself down there. It's stopped raining outside. Oh, jolly. <laughs> <laughs> now then, Mr. Grayson, what can I do for you? Uh, well, I want to change my will. Oh, no, not again. You're always changing your will, Mr. Grayson. I don't understand you. Uh, I wonder if you'd be a witness for us, Mr. Pemberton. You're very welcome. Have uh, <laughs> you been at it long? Quite a few years. Yes. 
it shows. I don't know <laughs> where you are. Yeah. Now, which one is it going to be? The one in March 64, or the one you changed in April 67, or the one you changed in 71 in February, or the one you changed last Thursday? Well, there's no need to go mad about it. I mean, after all, you get paid for doing it. Now, let's see where we are, Joe. Let's read what it's all sure. about. Yes. Wrong colour. <laughs> Now, it says here, I, uh, Lawrence Horatio Grayson... My mother loved Nelson. Uh, <laughs> uh, now, we come to, yes, certain specific bequests. Yes, that's right. Three pounds a year to save a sailor fund. And why not? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very good cause, you know, Mr uh, Runcorn. Runcorn. Oh, you smoke a pie. Yes. How manly. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty pounds a year to help feed all the poor bitches in Coventry Dog's home. <laughs> well, they've got to be fed. They've got to be fed. There's a lot of them there. Do you still intend leaving your body to medical science? Oh, of course I do. Of course I do. I mean, if you do a bit of poking about, they may find something that they've never seen before. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, it's no, I'm a living, breathing mistake. <laughs> You're going, you are going to light it, aren't you? Yes, Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Mr Grayson, now we come to the beneficiaries in your will. The most important item it says here is your brooch. Oh, yes, my brooch. Well, that, I was going to leave my brooch to Slack Alice, but I'm going to change it now. I'd like to leave it to my friend Everard Farquhar Harson. <laughs> brooch of Blackpool Tower, picked out underneath in seed pearls, the word mother. <laughs> now, having said all that, what about Slack Alice? So, well, what about her? Well, you were going to leave that to Slack Alice. Well, now, I've changed my mind about that. I'm, going to, I'm now going to leave her my stove. Oh, I see. Yes, because she cooks a lot, you see, and she can put it by the side of her bed. Yes. You see, because she can't take solids. Oh. No, she can't take solids. <laughs> but she's always cooking soup. And also, I'm going to leave her my Shirley Temple songbook. She loves Shirley Temple, loathes Jane Withers. You should hear her. Any more crackers in my soup? <laughs> 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 Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Grayson. Now, what are you going to do with your bugle? <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, I'd like to get my billiard table settled. You know, I've got a billiard table. You have? Yes. I'd like to leave the billiard table to the rugger players. Oh, my billiard table is very precious to me. The times I've been snookered on that, and I'll tell you another thing. <laughs> I always believe that never let anyone chalk your cue. But well, why is that? <laughs> well, it's bad luck, you know. If anyone else chalks you, well, with me anyway, if anyone chalks my cue, the balls are everywhere. <laughs> Well, that's a billiard table. Yes, to the rugger club. To the rugger club, yes. Now, to get back, what about your bugle? Now, my bugle, I've got a lovely bugle, you know. It was presented to me by HMS Ramrod. And it's got on the bottom, thank you for a lovely weekend from us all. <laughs> and, oh, you've lit it. I, and, well, I was going to give that to the landlady at the Cock and Trumpet. Yeah. But I've changed my mind now. I'm going to leave it to the landlady of the monk and cucumber. Yes. <laughs> she can hang it in her buttery. Yes. Oh. That's about it, Mr. Grayson. Just sign there, please. Oh, yes. Have you, uh, have you got something? Oh, oh, fashion and lovely. <laughs> I was in a Christmas carol once, you know. Were you really? Played Tiny Tim, Miss Cast of Corp. <laughs> <laughs> Think that one out. <laughs> Hello, yes. It's for you. For me? Oh. Hello. Is that you, Brenda? <laughs> Brenda Alcock? <laughs> what have got to tell me, Brenda? The landlady of the monk and cucumber said what? She did? Well, Brenda, I'm very pleased you rang to tell me. I'm more than pleased, and you shall be rewarded. As I say, as you butter your bread, so shall you lie on it. <laughs> so I know, Brenda, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Yes, dear. Yes. Thank you for ringing, dear. And I'll pop round, have a cup of tea with you, and a bit of fairy cake a bit later on. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye, Brenda. Could I make an appointment for next Tuesday afternoon at half past two? Whatever for? I want to change my will. <laughs> Want to change your will? Oh, 
dare you come into my office like a raving idiot every three or four weeks changing your will? What do you think you are? If you ever come in this office again, I shall personally take you to court. And what's more, I shall show you for everything that you've got. Do you defend people? Yes, I do. You do? Then you're engaged. <laughs> Many, many years ago, I was in a show travelling up and down the country called High Kicks and Splits. <laughs> and in this show, there was this naval scene. And lots of people from Basingstoke, Letchworth, Oldham, and other foreign parts wrote in. And so they'd see me in this show, and they asked me if I'd recreate the scene on television for them. And so tonight, I'm going to do that. And I would like to also add, that I have two boys with me tonight that were with me in that show, and they were only 16 at the time, and I have those boys here with me tonight, and I'd like you to meet them now. Ladies and gentlemen, the boys. And I might add, it's a very nostalgic moment <laughs> for the three of us. <laughs> Who's got a girl in every port hanging around like flies? Yo ho 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 ho! The sailor with the navy blue eyes. Who's the gob that's got the job waving the most goodbyes? Yo ho 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 ho! The sailor with the navy blue eyes. See those shoulders, so broad and glorious. See that smile. That smile notorious. <laughs> you can bet your life the man's in the Navy. See those nice blue trousers walk about. See that salty walk they all talk about. Mr. Watch Your Wife. Dorothy Ward. The man's in the Navy. Now lots of these men stand six foot seven. Lots of these men have arms like heaven. And lots of these men have hair all golden and wavy. <laughs> and when ten thousand gorgeous women will, I'll speak to you afterwards. <laughs> Chase him like some hunted criminal. You can bet your life, Dorothy Ward, the man's <laughs> in the Navy. <laughs> Who's got a girl in every port, dumbing around like flies? Yo ho 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 ho, ho. sailing with the Navy blue eyes. Who's the guy that they all buy? Dozens of socks and ties. Yo ho 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 ho! Oh, sailor with the navy blue eyes. <laughs> Who's the dog that's got the job? Waving the great goodbyes. Yo ho 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 ho! Oh, you've both been so wonderful. <laughs> the sailor with the navy blue eyes. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for looking in. 
And I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope to be back again at the same time next week. In the meantime, look after yourselves, and I'll see you soon. And remember, I love you very much. Ta-ra!